Peter the K diver here now. And here we are, Tommy, in Bama. This is a cab that I shouldn't be sat in uh, with the K dive team. And I'm just going from the booth here on the Cabalco stand into the Denmark facility where I visited just a few weeks ago. Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here in Odense for a red alert, folks, for you guys here. Wow, okay, we've got the alert device. Yes. That means if you were walking too close to this machine, not only would we get an alert in here, but there's gonna be nobody in here because it's remote controlled. We'd also get that alert at the remote control station, wouldn't we? Exactly, this so is how it works. This is all part of a massive collaboration you've done with Cabalco, which takes this machine and others in the fleet to be remote control, but with a difference because Leica, Geosystems and Xwatch technology and a personal alert device, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Tell me all about that collaboration. <clears throat> yeah, so it's a collaboration. It started quite some few years ago, actually. So we have worked uh, intensively with Cobelco. We have a super good cooperation with Cobelco, and that's Cobelco in Japan. Uh, and then with the Leica headquarter here. Uh, and we have brought our two R&D teams together, actually, to actually to fine tune this. So from the early start until where we are now, where we're actually able to remote control such, a, such an excavator. We've done several proof of concepts as well. Uh, we've done that in Japan. Uh, we have had customer events, etc. also in Japan. So it's been a big interest in relation to this. So uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good success for us. So we've got this whole sand pit here in your T site, testing technical site here. Yes. And we've seen the remote control operation for one of your operators. What's interesting though for me is we're turning this machine, not just a remote control, we're turning this into a remote productivity and safety focused machine, aren't we? Yeah. Tell me how it all then comes together and why it's important that people can get this from the factory as then a plug and play, isn't it? Yeah. So they get it as a plug and play. So you can say the machine, it has, it comes from the factory. It has a battery pack. So it's, uh, it's ready for the Wi-Fi setup, etc. Uh, so it has to be modified uh, a little bit from the factory at Cobelco. Uh, and then when it comes to the, to the dealer, for example, or to a customer, then it is, uh, it's easy for, for Leica to set up our solution. Uh, so we have, of course, we can add our sensors. Uh, we add our 3D solution where we have the GNSS antenna, we have our display, etc. Uh, so everything is set up. But the beautiful thing about it is that you can see there is no operator. That's right. right. Yep. Because the operator is not needed here because it is a remote uh, control uh, solution, right? So that is with the cockpit. So the cockpit is actually taking care of the person sitting in the cockpit, and we call him the K-diver. <laughs> the K-diver the K is taking care of that in yep. general. So he's actually, or she, uh, is able to, to drive such a machine uh, remotely. And, and when we started, we started with let's, you know, uh, 10 meters, 50 meters, and then we go all the way up to 9,000 kilometers now. Wow, okay. And that 9,000 kilometers is gonna be seen in Bauma, folks, as well. So I've talked to the operator already, and I think what's really important is that sense of being there in the station, but also physically being on the job site yeah. and, and getting to grade and also the benefits of that 3D collision avoidance bubble. Because yeah. we're seeing a lot of initial, when we do remote control, working in maybe dangerous areas or remote yes. areas yes. where, you know, there may be some kind of utility, there may be yeah. overhead cables. And, yes. and it's really important to be able to have that whole site model and safety 3D model at the same time, isn't it? Yes, it's super important. Um, and I would say that the solution we're having, we have both integrated the machine, machine guidance and the machine control. With the machine control part, we have the Leica semi-automatic solution, meaning we have an outer boom and we have an uh, outer bucket. We can also have an automatic tilt rotator and an automatic tilt as well. So that means that the remote operator is actually able just to control everything with the stick yep. on the left joystick. And that's it. So it's, it's super easy for, for that person. Uh, and one of the very important thing also in relation to this is about the, the safety part, yep. uh, safety and productivity. So it is possible for the K-diver to control not only one machine, but two machines or three machines. Right, uh, okay. So, that, so again, that is a part of the productivity. So that is, that is a big part of it. And of course, we have the safety part as well. So the safety part, um, this is also where we have the XWAT solution. So XWAT's a part of 
hexagon has uh, developed a solution also in relation to this one, where actually you can see we have an XWatch screen in here, yep. uh, but we don't have an operator to press the bottom and say, <laughs> oh, we acknowledge there is an issue because the XWatch solution is able to have slew control, for example, if there is height uh, control, depth control, slew control, and we can create a virtual wall. Yep. And that virtual wall, we create uh, models around it and a 3D model. And that means that when if, if we go very close to the virtual wall, then it just stops yep. automatically, right? So, and even though that you pull the, the, the lever and, 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 and you pull the joystick, you're not able to move it at all. And I think what's really important about that, folks, is what we're seeing there is an active system. Yes. It's not a passive system. Correct. And most importantly, with a personal alert device as well, when you've got people, you might be working in a remote location with a thing, but people may have to come to the machine. But with that personal alert device, if everybody is wearing that on the job site as well, yeah. that's critical to people actually coming into the red zone. Yes. The system automatically stops, doesn't it? Exactly. So this is, again, this is... A fully integrated into the MC1, so like an MC1 solution. Yep. Uh, so we have, of course, the XWatch is integrated in that solution. We have our PA80 solution where we have the, the tags, right? Yep. Uh, and this is where we have also the anchor here. Yep. Uh, and then we can, we have a, a green zone, we have a yellow zone, we have a red zone. So if you get too close, then actually the machine stops. So it, that's what we call an active system, right? Yep. Uh, if you're in the green zone, everything, everyone is happy, no worries. Uh, but when you get when you get to the if you go further and you go for example to the yellow zone, then the machine slows down, uh, and then you go to the red zone, it completely stops. However, folks, we're in Denmark now, but you know what? We actually need to be in Bauma, where it's all happening from Bauma. So, jump with me for a moment to there. And here we are, Tommy, in Bauma with the K Dive team. And I'm just going from the booth here on the Cabalco stand into the Denmark facility where I visited just a few weeks ago. That is super exciting, isn't it? Yes, absolutely fantastic. And now we're here at Bauma where everything happens. And so we see on the top here, folks, you can also going to be able to get, when the timing is right, over to Japan as well here. So people at Bauma can do both Denmark and Japan from the station here. So it's about time we got me in the seat to show how useless I am at operating, but also critically how that 3D machine control works. But more importantly for me, how the 3D collision works. So great, fantastic to see you, you here at Bauma. Good to see you, Peter. Thank you. Time for me to get in the seat. Let's have another jump. Yeah. Peter, the K-diver here now. I've got to now hit the button. We can actually see that I'm moving the bucket. I've actually moved the stick and the boom. I'm now going to actually do something I shouldn't be doing, folks. This is really important. I'm going to go, out. oh, oh, hold on a minute. What's happened there? Oh, I've got an avoidance zone issue. That's the 3D collision avoidance from X-Watch. I just tried to go into that zone, which is mapped out in 3D. I can't go. I can't even control the actual machine anymore. So I'm going to have to, first of all, acknowledge that. So now I'm not able to go back into that space. I've got to come back again, folks. So that means that that 3D collision avoidance has actually worked, which is fantastic. And, oh, there we go. Got a bit of a scoop going on. No, never mind. I'm on a driver. And this is why I'm on the remote control station with a 3D collision avoidance to stop me doing anything wrong. But the real operators can come here to Bauma and make sure they have a go remotely into Denmark or Japan. Brilliant. Brilliant.